Welcome, welcome to another edition of Profound. I am your host, Esco Swift. I hope everybody is doing well. Most and foremost, thanks to all of the people who subscribe, like, definitely, really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for another new video that to be uploaded. Um, okay then, um, today we have two topics that we want to discuss. We want to discuss um, relationships. We want to discuss the method and the ingredients it takes to maintain a relationship. And um, we want to discuss um, the violence against um, black men. Or the mistreat or the misguided treatment towards black men from the... Um, from the from the police or should I say yes from the police towards the, the 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 black community I choose black because as we are watching the news we have a news just Monday gone where um a police was kneeled into a black man's neck right and uh, you know he he died of that circumstances and Persons in Min in Minneapolis, they are protesting. Um, persons were not getting the proper justice because the policeman was not charged until they start to protest. They realized the people they weren't serious and them charge the police. Now it was four of them at that point and only one get charged. So the citizens of Min of Minneapolis they were not agreed with just the one police got charged because it was four of them. So they still continue to protest as we speak. As a matter of fact, the protests start to reach in different states. It is in New York, Atlanta, and it is will be here in in um in Pennsylvania soon as well. So, yes, it is a it's very devastating. Um, from ever since I realized that there's a thing between white policemen and black men. White policemen and black people should say, because I've seen video that white police have um. Black woman a box him up in their face. Fling her down around like a piece of log. Just fling her around and take her up back and push her down. While her hand is cuffed behind her. And I've never seen such treatment coming from a white police towards a white man. I've, I'm not saying it is not existed but I'm telling you what I have saw. So it's very very rough. It's very, it very um, unprofessional. And I think people just get fed up of the whole situation. So yes. We're going to go down someone that. Further down, we're going to discuss um, more on that topic. But, oh yes, I have a friend of mine who said, um, show on the sea on the outside. I promise you in my next video, I will show on the outside. So, real quick, let me show you on the outside. Yes, my, we're having a good weather today, by the way. Really, 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 really good weather. Really comfortable weather. This weather is going on really, really fine. Alright, so this is the outside. Alright, this is the outside of my town. Just last month, all these trees, the leaves were very just sprung. Now, this month, a lot of leaf. Yeah. Yeah, this is my outer skirt. This is my back up the road. Yeah. This is the weather condition. Really nice. You can see the sky right so now you have seen on my outside right oh and by the way um u.s launched their rocket to space today in the since 25 years u.s have never um launched a rocket to space so um approximately 3 25 this evening saturday Yes, US have launched their um their rocket to space. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. So the the 30th of May 2020. Yes, in Florida, US has launched their rocket to space. So that's a that's a good look. All right. Um we're going to get down into some some relationship discussion. Because you don't know me by now. You don't know me by now. 
me discuss things that is on the table. You understand? I don't talk things for talking, see. I talk things that I know is facts. And as I said earlier, people always feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Um, I don't claim to know everything. So the view expressed of this program is my thoughts and my thoughts only, my opinion. Um, and person should not take this as an insinuation towards them in any form of way. This is a very friendly program called Profound, hosted by me. Esco Swift, of course, and I hope I can reach out to young people out there. All right, relationships. I am all for the guys. I want the guys them to understand this. I want them to know. So I am all into um, the guys who come in. You know, as a young youth, you growing up, you want a relationship with a girl. You see a girl you like her, you know, for whatever reason you like her, and would you like to, you know, you would like to turn it up a notch. You would like a relationship. So question to you, the guys. When you see a girl and you would like to actually have her living with you, what is your approach? Your approach should be manly, disciplined, romantic. And you have to stick to your words. Gentlemen, not because I have sex with a girl a few times, it doesn't mean it's a possibility that girl wants to live with you. All right? Before you go anywhere... When it comes down to having a girl come and living with you, ask her if it is something she would want. Don't tell yourself that we're having sex. Me buy her a phone, me buy her some clothes, so yo, she love me. And we have sex often, so she won't come live with me. Sometimes that is not how it works. Gentlemen, take the time out to ask girlfriend how it works. Ask her what she wants. Ask her if she would love to live with you. And fast forward a couple of road ahead. When the girl starts to live with you now, take the time out. Let's say a year ahead now. Take the time out to ask that girl, Babes, am I doing anything that you find uncomfortable? And how can I solve it? You understand? You would surprise to know the, the amount of things that you are doing that she finds so uncomfortable, she finds so annoying. But some female rather does have things within themselves and not talking. But when when they're cup running over, boy, I'm sorry for you. And then you're gonna be like, oh, this is a simple thing, yeah, yeah make nice over. Or a simple something, yeah, make one answer. But no, she has so many things on her mind from day one. Not all girls, woman enough to can speak their mind. So as a man, you are the man, and you have to take charge. You understand me? I say yes. Me know you probably are working nine to five. You are the little security work. You are work twelve hour a day. That not say you are the man. Ask a girlfriend if you are doing everything okay. Ask her what 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 would she like you to do. Is there any little event she have in her mind or should I want it to want to can go? Rent your bridging car, borrow your bridging car, and if you drive, fortunately, very convenient. Take out your girlfriend to the beach randomly. Take your girlfriend to the beach randomly. Don't wait until Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, and all of these holidays, Mother's Day. You have to buy your girl something because she always say a Mother's Day, so every mother gets something. And if she not have a child, nobody buy her whatever for Easter or for her birthday because her birthday. Yes, treat her on her birthday, what I'm saying. Make your girl feel comfortable all the time around the clock, Virgin. As a man we are work and a juggle thing, carry out your girlfriend. Almost every female love to go out with them boyfriend or their husband. I can tell you that. And you know what's so amazing about it? You can surprise her. You can surprise her. Sometimes you can just say, babe, we are up on the road. You understand? And... See to it that she don't put on a whole of makeup because I just pan the road here and you just turn up a watchy with her. You bring her a glorious, glorious, nice a watchy. Cheap. You not going to spend no twenty, thirty five thousand dollars when I talk about going to a hotel. You bring her a glorious, you treat her yo. You understand me I say? When you go all a swim, you make sure you know say babes me love you so much and thanks for being in my life and I really appreciate you and you know we probably not have our own house as yet, but just be with me. You know, we are going to make this work. 
or you know, me I go help you get a job and we can pull together or if you have a child or you want a child, discuss the things that you would like to achieve in the future. You know what I mean? From each other. This is how you balance your relationship and you keep your relationship. You keep your relationship with a flame and a very um authentic pattern going. You understand what I mean? Um another thing is that not because you work nine to five. Let's say you work Monday to Friday, nine to five. You can't let's say it's up on Saturday boy, I'm tired. No, you have to arrange time around that. You have to find a way if you can tell your girlfriends and babes, we are gonna do this Saturday, you know. And gentlemen, this is very much important. Even if you're going to wash some clothes on Sundays, I am telling you this. Tell your girlfriend that you want to wash out some clothes Sunday. Tell her from Wednesday or Thursday. Women love these things. Women love arrangement. Women don't like when you just get up Sunday morning and just start wash. You understand? Cook a special meal for Sunday. Tell her, say, you know, I want beef Sunday. I could, I could cook some beef now. I could steam some fish Sunday instead of fried chicken now. You get to me, I say? You watch a movie with her. Watch a movie. Um, you watch a series show. It won't look at you and watch a series show for Sunday. You're not going to know it. You're not going to road. No man can go and call you and say, yo, I could touch the road. You get to me, I say? And one other thing. When you have a girlfriend at home and you work 9 to 5, I can't tell you this. You see that company something the way I say you have to spend time with a friend them, we can't tell you that. It's a no no. Time you always. Can't tell you that. Foolishness I do. Your girlfriend are your girlfriend I know. You already have friends through high school, primary school. You know, you have friends at work. When you leave work, you're supposed to be there when your girlfriend or your wife. I choose the word girlfriend mostly. Or I emphasize on girlfriend mostly because not you find most young people into a, a common law relationship than a legal union when it comes to whether married or single. You understand? For those non more common law, it means when you just live with a girlfriend. You understand what I mean? Legal union and when you're married. But you do really find a young youth in their early 20s married. You know? I married at a very young age. I, have, I was into a, really, a serious relationship for 15 years. So I can tell you all of these things. And I have feel in quite a amount in I have feel in some of these aspects that I am sharing with you now. Right? You understand what I mean? So um whatever I am telling you now is not any freestyle thing. I'm telling you stuff that I have feel on and I catch up on myself and I keep it going. Alright? Another thing again. Don't because your girlfriend is not complaining doesn't mean she don't have a complaint. Talk to your girlfriend as I said earlier. Talk to her. Make sure you know so she appreciates it. Alright. Um, for the ladies, also, you don't have to kind of have mercy. Or what I said, you don't have to go no one credibility because guess what? Sometimes these men, we work so hard. Sometimes we supervisor, we co-worker, give you a hard time at work. Sometimes we come in in a very not so of a romantic mood. See with some time. You understand me? I say? Don't get upset. Even though you probably have the right to get upset. Because you they are for the old day. You, know? you are wait for him. When him come in, him come in with attitude. Me know how you feel. But you have to ask him. Talk to him. Ask, dig up in his brain and ask him questions. He probably don't want to talk at the moment. But cooking food. If a mackerel and rice, you're cooking food and you put it down and you wait until he come. I can't tell you. As soon as he's second long, possible have a good run of sex, he might tell you exactly. What take place? Girls, female, girlfriend, wife. Whenever time you have your boyfriend, we want to live together. Find a way if you can be your boyfriend best friend. Find a way if you can be your boyfriend, um, your husband best friend. Don't just be a wife. Don't just play the role of a girlfriend or a wife. Be a best friend. You understand what I say? You and your boyfriend suppose you can pull one guineas, you throw something in one cup, and you give me a buckle and look at reason how things. As me said, we don't have to do this thing rich. We don't have a lavish thing we are talking about. Yes, we don't talk about no, 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 no expensive lifestyle. Believe in your boyfriend. Don't talk down upon him. Respect him. If he get angry, if he must speak certain unchristian language to you, like bad word and them thing there, make him cuss him bad word. You see, when him calm down and him settle down, make him know, so listen, don't come back to me with this bad word. 
if me do something wrong, you as a female, we can tell them, say, if you do something wrong to him as a man, he must talk to you in a very um, benevolent manner. Gentle, nice. You understand? Make your man know, so you know, stand up for that something there. So then bad word there, we might cuss up in the house and I go on, I go on, I go on. Because sometimes our head does full and sometimes we just want to take out a problem for us sometimes. I tell that, I don't go on like some of saying. You understand me? I say? But as I said before, you have to catch up on yourself. And if you're a real girlfriend or a real wife, you have to just relax and make, let him just vent. Let him vent because he can calm down. He can't vent for the whole night. You know? And when he calm down, impossible to sing one song. He said, Bees, we can't talk to you. Make him not say, Listen, whenever time you get angry, you don't cost nobody that for me. You love him. You want this to work. You understand him for bad days, a bad moment, and no cost no bother that for me. Gentlemen, acknowledge what the lady is saying. If the lady is saying that, you know, she not like how you deal with her, you know, that repulsive behavior, man, are there. listen now. Shake up your folly ground. Because she could have size up with you, you know. She could have cost back bad order for you. And that would have sound like it's an agon goat thing, I go on. But you take the time off, you sickle, and say, listen, it can't work out, you know. This can't work. You get to me and say, respect your boyfriend. Be your boyfriend, best friend. Be your girlfriend, best friend. Respect your girlfriend. You know what I mean? Um, it want to cook together. You cut up a meat, she season it up. Watching a movie together. You get to me and say, if you're not going to do some washing, you know, I'm saying, you know, anything or any form of activity you're not going to do, you know, arrange it and say, babe, you're going to do that. You get to me and say, and at the same time, you're going to go and educate yourself. You know, if you send she go to school and you want to work, brother, you can go on even class too. You get to me, I say, I have seen time I say men do these things. Yes, so do these basic things and we can tell you this, you have a relationship going. Just keep reminding your girlfriend that she's love and you appreciate to have her in your life as a man. And you can't go wrong. Female, likewise. Do the same thing. Appreciate your girlfriend, respect her. She have a child for you, respect her as a mother. As she bring her first you come on road, me can tell her say no man can give birth to a woman. A woman carry pain for nine months, a whole lot of belly pain that and pain and a nine and vomiting and the whole works. Not to mention when she go give birth. Respect your girlfriend, you would respect your wife. Cause see when she move on to a next man, me can tell her say you know something nice, you know something you go, you know go, you know go comfortable if you know say John no star. You know, you did mistreat her and you did misguide her as a misguided husband or a misguided boyfriend. At least I hope you would learn if that is the case. You get to me and say, Alright. Alright. Next up it me up. Boy Jenka people. In Minneapolis, there's a man, George Floyd. Boy, may his soul rest in peace. He was accused by the cashier. In some supermarkets, they have a fake $20 bill. And the, the supervisor or the owner for the, for the supermarket called police for him. And when police come, boy, they are killing, going kill the man. Footage show when the man, police put on the handcuff, the man walk up to the wall, then put on the man on the ground, the man get up back, then walk with the man with the handcuff, you know. And I cannot see why on God's earth the policeman find himself. With the knee in the man neck. The man weren't putting up any form of harass, resistance, nothing at all. The man just relax. However, as a police, if you have handcuff on a man, one, two, three, if you can't show the man. You understand what I mean? They kneel on the man neck, kill the man on the spot. You understand what I mean? And then the man say, the man run investigation. That's why people are protesting today in Minneapolis and it has stretched to Atlanta. You understand what I mean? Because People realize that this is an ongoing thing. Just last month, there was a young man jogging. Them shoot him while him a jog. What them do? Them dig up some old high school footage of the man. And I try to put it in today's day. The little youth innocent as can innocent be. Again in black. That sweep under the rug. So this one with George Floyd, people decide to say, well, nah, drop it. I saw a lady come on, and come on live and say, we are keeping up madness. We are burning up police cars. We are burning down buildings. Um, we need to go home. 
How can you tell us that as a black woman that we need to go home and you have seen it for yourself that this has happened from time to time? You don't read the story about Malcolm X? You don't know the history about Malcolm X? I would assume that you were in Barnet. Didn't you read the story of Malcolm X and how he was slaughtered and died? And you are telling black people and, and you're coming on, 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 on live TV telling black people to go home because what they are doing is madness. After a police kneeling a black man neck, kill him, right? And all they do to that police at first, they just fire all four of them. It was four of them, by the way. Two of them was on the next side, right? So it was four of them. So they fire all four of them. Citizens were not satisfied. They were not satisfied. And that's what triggers the protests. And the looting and the shooting. You understand me I say? And look what happened now. As soon as them start the protest. Night. And day. Them press charge for one of the man. So you see that these people can do better. You see that racism is very active. Racism is very much active. It is so, so much active. People are not open their eyes to these things. Don't be like footer hype. Footer hype come play on TV and say a, a foolishness we are do because um that now bring back them on life. You think a, a George Floyd life we are bring back all we miss we miss him and we're sorry for what go on. We are trying to let the police know that we need to be free tomorrow. What will be what will happen if you stop us tomorrow and say yo you need this is some ID? You're not gonna shoot in our face. As I said before, are the protest them do, why them get why them press charge from the police? And you're gonna say how foolish is some other brother? But not foolish is some other king, man. The man not foolish some other brother and the people and give up. You know what black people get slaughtered at all since since um since 2016? And I found white police. Run a survey if you say a black policeman shoot a black man in the United States. Run a survey. A white police. People ain't fed up. And the people them not arrest until them charge all four police officers. Or on the scene, them not arrest. I me agree with them. Me agree with them. This is my opinion. Me agree with them because they are getting positive results. And the aim is not to see George Floyd wake up, you know, and say, "Yes, I am alive again." Thanks for the protest. This is for your kids, my kids, can able to walk free in the states. And if a police find him as a person of interest for whatever reason, his life won't be threatened or probably taken. By that white policeman. Or any other policeman. Don't get me wrong you know. I am not saying all white policemen. Are evil. I'm not saying that. But I'm just telling you. The very few culprits. Who claim that because they are white. Black, black people are dogs. They won't stop. And I agree with them. Don't stop. Until. You let them know that you have more citizen than police officers in this world. You have more citizen than police officers in every state. So if you decide to okay then, black men are dogs. We can just shoot them and our soup can sweep it underneath the rug. Okay, fine. People are rising. Alright? So them 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 burn down a station in Minneapolis, burn up police cars, burn down buildings. And there's a, there is just a breaking news that these buildings that are keep burning down are actually um, persons who are who is not a part of the protests. It are, they are, as a, there was a, there was a, it was alleged that there was a police officer who set a building on fire. He was in a mask, hiding his face, and somebody saw him, put the camera on him, and they were walking him down, asking him, "Who are you?" This is a crooked world that we are living in. People, we have to do this. We have to do what we are doing. Black life matter. We want to breathe. That was George Floyd's last words. I cannot breathe. And the police remain on the man's neck. Just doing nothing. Just kneel on his neck. The car is there. It's not like he's waiting on any backup. Right? The car was there. And he decided that he might kill him on. It's like this was fully organized. It's like this was so uh, this was so organized because if you arrest a man and put an handcuff on him, why you have him on the floor? 
on the road lying down beside the beside the, the police car. There's not the police station. You go and investigate them and ask him when you get him fake $20 bill from, but no. You did a knee long pan him, man. You literally try to kill him, man. You come on the scene to kill the man. And then you got yourself like an unscrupulous, naive people. I got to talk about say, the protest that make no sense. Go home. You crazy. Look on the funny story about it. When when they dug up, when they dug up um stories about that police officer who killed George Floyd. That man is convicted in that that man committed free offense. And the same judge who defend him in court. This is the same judge exists now. And this judge said she won't prosecute him. Can you imagine? We have seen everything on video live, broad daylight. You kneel on the man neck and you kill the man. And the judge said she won't prosecute the police officer without explanation. And Futa IP are gonna really come on TV and say, pan pan Facebook live and I say, a foolishness people are do, it don't make no sense, because this nigga bring back George Floyd. Yeah, mad man, big man, this are gonna only show them say, so okay, they can kill anyone our next. You hear that? This is show so they can't kill anyone now next because when I protest, when I show them so yo, this can't work. If I'm a murder one of your family in a broad daylight and you see him, right? And you realize that that man is so untouchable. You got to sleep back and say, your friend or your family done dead already. So boy, I saw your thing set up, yeah, man. It don't make no sense. I have to live life with tomorrow. You're crazy. You have to carry out legal action for sure, man. So listen, yo. This can't work. And some of this needed in Jamaica as well. Because all oh, Jamaican police angle taxi man and citizen. Boy, I don't know what going on. It's like a pandemic when it comes out of police and citizen. I don't know. Except that police here in the States actually are shoot you and kill you. They get to me, I say. And them a cut off your breathing um, area where you can't breathe to get oxygen and kill you. And we can't know no Jamaican love follow. Know no Jamaican love follow. I won't be surprised if Jamaican police start to do the same thing. I won't be surprised if Jamaican police start to pick up this repulsive behavior and start to take it physical. With citizen, because oh, me see them treat on taxi man on the road sometimes, and I needed. You stop a man. I've seen police officer pull over a man, and the man stop. Them tell the man come out of the car. Two gonna pine for the man. Them tell the man be face in the car with his hands up, and when the man put his hands up, then kick where man two foot same way. Suppose the man just do an operation, you kick where the man foot. The man can't stop bleeding. There's so much things can take place. What is happening? Is it the guns? Is it that when you guys have guns, you feel so untouchable? I feel like I couldn't have nine life. So I'm to the respect, I'm to the humanity, I'm to the serve and protect. People, we can't live like this. We cannot live like this. This protest that is taking place, it should be taking place a long time ago. From Martin Luther King, from Malcolm X days, it should be taking place. May I tell you? And if you really survey how many rough treatment Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X get. We can't tell you. Uh, normal. Check out all the persons them who black. Who trying to make a, a change for the black race. Check if them go to prison at some point in time. Tupac Shakur. Me are going basic as Tupac has to wear. Um, protest concern. Them lock up Tupac for much too much time. Not saying Tupac is not guilty of breaking the law. But I'm just saying. There are times when Tupac has been charged for some things where... The truth is, I just because they try to make a difference. It's like the white community don't want the black man eyes to open too wide. It's like the white community don't want us to read too much. As they call us dogs. We feel us living in our dark shadow. Them do the reading, them elevate themselves, and guess what? Them take it from there. You, nothing learn. Because one can kick you up and down when I'm ready. 
You get to me, I say? The very one where I go feel like him the on a level, where, where they go do to him, they go actually put him in charge as a black man and make him beat the rest of black people while they sit down in them chair and laugh. That is what is happening, people. We have to make a difference. We have to see what is going on. We have to read more. Stop going on Facebook and just comment some foolishness and you don't know what is taking place out there. And foot out, me disappointed now, you say, brother. Straight up and down, me disappointed now, you say. You get to me, I say. Because I can't believe you, I say, boy, we protest in a monopolist. No, make no sense. A time, them are waste. That's a slapness, virgin. Sound like you drink some of my white man's soup. Slapness, I keep up my virgin. People, them have to do what they have to do. And when them do this, when a white police pull you over, when they remember what takes place in a monopolist, they go realize that oh, they can't take it drama. They can't take it excitement. So they go attend to you as if you're a human being. And it is sad to know that this is what we have to do to get this treatment that should be a regularized situation. But guess what? We have to do what we have to do. Racism is active. So fear that some man if you look a man all the day at Jamaica and fly out in the United States and I dress up every day and I put on clean clothes and I spice up every day and not educate themselves, I can tell us a few times I come. You get to me, I say, all you are going to find yourself, I do, I do some shitty job and can't make two ends meet. And the same woman, them way I dress for impress, they are going to move on and left you. Or I left Uno. I know enough of them. I know enough of them in the United States right now with the day at Jamaica. I be a boss alive, then go to US, go take up. Every day, they clean up on Instagram. Big chain around neck. I pose. Yeah. Can't tell them, say, they're not the boss. They get to me, I say. But if I were you guys, I would educate on yourself. Because I want to see what is taking place with the black race. So you can't go and impress girls. Vagina and run way. Everywhere you go, you see woman. And smart woman. Take man we have assets. So you can't go and fool yourself and buy up car and buy up this big big chain on your neck and dress up every day and pose up on TV like on the things that this are the way to go. You see me? You know, soon learn still, you know? You know, soon see what I go on. Pretty face now nah, nah, work this again. Smart. Education and data work. You hear that? People, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in again Saturday for another episode of Profound. I am your host, Esco Swift. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, feel free to comment as long as you keep um, comment respectfully. I mean, um, thanks again for the followers and the subscribers. Really, really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned again and bless up on yourself. Be safe. Coronavirus is still active. There is no cure as yet. They, can, they are just trying their best to control it or treat the virus. It's still out.